Being stylish is wearing the same basic elements as someone else, but when you walk into the room, you're the one that people remember. It's not about how much you spend though. The secret of being stylish lies in the little things. How you combine your items, how you accessorize, and how you make an ordinary outfit a little less ordinary. You can do it. Hi everyone, my name is Aki Curtis and today I want to share some simple tips to look instantly more stylish. Tip number one, introduce one new item to a basic outfit. We all know that you can't go wrong with t-shirt and jeans, right? Now, what about adding a necklace? What about adding a belt? What about a blazer? Once you feel confident about adding one new item to your basic outfit, then try adding two. Number two, make belt your best friend. Belt is not just for making sure that your pants don't fall down. It is also amazing to shape your body, give you a waistline and adjust your body proportion. Here's an example. On the left, the belt was sitting slightly above my pelvic bone and that gave my body a 40-60 proportion. On the right, however, the belt was sitting above my belly button. That gave my body a 30-70 proportion and visually, my lower body looked longer too. The magic of styling, eh? Number three, heels. As soon as you breathe some fresh air from a slightly higher altitude, you will instantly become more stylish. Trust me on this. Let me give you an example. This is how the t-shirt and jeans outfit look with a pair of sneakers. And this is how it look with a pair of heels. See the difference? I'm not saying that you always have to wear a pair of killer heels. Oh no. It can be just kitten heels. What I'm after here is just a little bit of elevation. <laughs> if you're not a heels person, that's okay. Try explore some color variation for your flats and sneakers. Number four, colors. Don't be afraid of them. Most people prefer wearing black and white or neutral tone. But let's say when you're wearing a black dress, instead of carrying a black bag, choose a color one. Look at the difference. Wearing color shows that you're willing to try something different. You are a risk taker. You like a bit of fun. You are bold. And that, my friend, is very attractive. Hot. Number five, tuck in your clothes. This is not about being neat and tidy, and this is not about me being your mom. <laughs> Tucking in your clothes will also give you a better body proportion. Look at this outfit with the t-shirt untucked, and look at the same outfit with the t-shirt tucked in. The latter makes your lower body and your legs much longer. Do you agree? Number six, wear something more structural whether it is your clothing or your bags. Opt for something with a bit of shape. Ironing your clothes help too. It makes your clothing look a little bit more expensive. Well, even though I hate ironing, but it does help. When shopping for clothing, I like to choose something with a slightly thicker fabric because they have better shape and they give me better shape too. Same applies to bags. A good handbag completes an outfit. Remember, shape is good and saggy is sad. Very sad. Here are a few examples of sculptural bags that I love and are very versatile. Number seven, hair. Agree or disagree, 
It's all about the whole package. You can't have a beautiful dress and then like messy, oily hair. You know what I mean? Um, what's going on here? <laughs> Keep your hair tidy. When I have a bad hair day, I will just put everything into a bun so that I look polished. Ta! -da! Something like this. Number eight, look after your nails. It's okay to have no nail polish. I have no nail polish at the moment. And it's okay to have rainbow colors. It is not okay to have cheap nail polish on each fingers or different length on each fingers. Or three weeks old fake nails hanging at the edge of your natural nails screaming for help. <laughs> No, it's not locked down anymore. Get it fixed. Mm. Number nine, sunglasses. Ooh, love them. Sunglasses are one of those things that you just put it on and boom, instant wow factor. They are perfect for scanning people at the cafes without them noticing. And for the days that you just can't be bothered to put on any makeup, so, must have. And last but not least, and the most important tips to look stylish is confidence. Oh, yeah, yeah, confidence. Blah, 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 blah. Bear with me for a sec. Confidence is the key to make everything. Well, almost everything. Look good. Let me tell you a story. You guys know me as a content creator. I am also a model, meaning that my job is to make clothes look good, right? And sometimes clients like to challenge me with some, let's say, unconventional clothing choices. Oh, Aki, do you think you can pull this off? Yes, I can. Remember to pay my invoice on time. Thank you. Confidence. Yes. However, it is easier said than done. A valuable lesson I have learned throughout my career and my life is that before you have the confidence, you must have the courage first. And so I encourage you to be courage. Try something new. You can be stylish without owning the latest designer accessories or having the nicest clothes. I hope these tips are helpful for you. Thank you so much for watching. Hope to see you on my next video. Ciao.